What is up everybody, Jake with Fast Motorsports. We are back at the R&D shop and behind me, as you can see, is the race truck. Now we missed last week, we're sorry about that, kind of a busy week around the Fast headquarters, but today we're actually ripping out that sweet interior from 2006, I know. It's kind of sad, it's sad to see it go, all the Mastercraft seats and everything cool about it, but we're gonna replace it with hopefully some cooler stuff. But we did want to capture some footage of pulling out that original interior. Now, remember, this truck has about 10,000 miles on it. So this interior, even though it's an aftermarket, obviously, is pretty fresh. That said, there's some safety updates, roll cage updates, seating updates, and other things that we're gonna do to make it a little more race truck. When this thing was originally built, it's definitely a race truck, but it was also a little bit of a show truck. There's a lot of audio in there, some old school gauges, and some other stuff that we're just gonna either remove completely or update to make this thing a little more current, a little safer, and a little more race ready for when we hit those half mile events. Let's see what Spencer's up to. So I tried to explain it, why the interior swap when to most people this is like perfectly functional. Well, we're going with a different style cage. Uh, this is more of your bolt-in cage uh, where it does not attach to the frame. So the new cage is Chromoly, um, or this one's DOM, and it will attach to the, the frame, make it a lot more safe. Uh, it's also a 10-point cage, so a little bit of an upgrade there. Um, the seats are coming out for some safer containment seats um, and we're also going to build a tube structure for that where these are mounted to the, the factory um, power power slides and uh, you know, it's nice for comfort but not necessarily the safest and uh, looks like a lot of weight so we'll cut that out. And all the audio? Yeah, audio. I like the sound of turbos. So, we don't need radio. <laughs> Especially don't need five amps and two subs. Cause it's all, I mean, there's a lot of, you said there's a lot of crap packed into that center console. I mean, it's, it's not yeah. light. I believe there's two uh, 10 inch subs in the center console on top of the, you know, full fiberglass. So there's, I don't know how heavy it is, but we'll find that out. Now, a lot of people commented on the gauge cluster, how it's very, uh, I mean, it's very early 2000s, very uh, airplane-like, so you were telling me, but it's, I guess explain to the people, we're dropping all that, and then you have a different idea for monitoring. Yeah, we're gonna go with like a, a, a digital dash uh, data logger. Um, that way we can have all the, all the gauges in one place, easy to read, um, have shift lights, warning lights on it. Um, we'll be able to watch the gauges as we're driving, but all the lights will let us know if there's something wrong or need to do something different. It'll Thanks. also uh, do our data logging for us, so that'll be very important for tuning. So a lot of people might not know this, but what made you decide to stick with the factory ECM and not go to standalone? Because this is a pretty complex setup to be running on a factory computer. Yeah, um, I mean, from what I'm told from the tuners, um, I mean, it, it, can, it can handle the power. Um, we're not where the standalone ECMs help are drag racing when you're fighting traction. Uh, we'll be fighting traction, but it'll be uh, have a little bit longer of a stretch to adjust and uh, just don't feel that it's, it's needed at this time. We just need all the power at once. <laughs> Is there any way we can take a peek? I think we brought one. Can we take a peek at the new seat, see what we're replacing yeah. the old stuff with? Shout out to our friends at uh, Top Tier Suspensions for the hookup. Just slide that right down the back of the seat. <laughs> it's probably covered under water. So, man. I figure if I take out enough bolts, something's gotta come loose. Yeah, something has to happen if you rip out enough hardware. It's like a puzzle. I'm getting somewhere. All right, so the first seat bracket is out. 
from the original, well, not original, but the original race seats. And Spencer noticed something about them. They're heavier than the seat itself, right? Yep, a lot, like twice. Hmm. Weight, weight reduction is the name of the game here. Look at that. It's, it looks like they're still in good shape. I mean, I would think so. It's only got like 10,000 miles on the truck. Are you going to put them in your truck? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Now I'm trying to get it out. Status update, the rear seats are unbolted, but they are not coming out with this door bar, so. Got the tool. Got the tool. I hit the seat. Uh-oh. Does anybody need some Sony amplifiers? Now what? Well, those need to come out. Yeah. And it'll start, start cutting. Oh, quick intermission. Our friends at Top Tier Suspension have this twin turbo Jeep project out at the FAS R&D facility, and Spencer just got some new tunes to load in it. Apparently, this thing, which is the Eco Diesel, it's, so it's a twin turbo diesel Jeep Wrangler. Apparently, it does really good burnouts. I don't know if we're gonna get to do one, but at the very least, we're gonna load some tunes in it. We're gonna do burnouts. It's not our Jeep. <laughs> it's not our Jeep, it's not our tire. Sorry, Zane. But this is what a twin turbo Eco Diesel Jeep looks like. <laughs> Just needs to do more burnouts. Yeah, burnouts cure everything. And a couple of small burnouts later, the Jeep is tuned. Now that top tier project is kind of an ongoing thing. So if and when we can, we'll bring you updates on that. As for the race truck, we are pretty much done. You can see all the interior bits are out. Some of the cage, we, there's a little bit left to go. More pieces right here. That beautiful fiberglass center console's out along with all the amplifiers. And the interior is uh, on its way to being uh, gutted. Any thoughts, Spencer? A lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work. A lot of uh, saw batteries, too. Cutting a cage out to put another cage in. Yeah, uh, this one's gotta go so the bigger, stronger, safer one can go in, which is actually sitting right back there. But we'll get there next time. So if you like race truck content, be sure to hit the subscribe button and uh, we'll see you next week.